Get ready. Here comes Pearl and pattern matching in list context. You've seen how the split operator uses a pattern specifying a delimiter or what we don't want. It's great if what you're doing is working with a comma delimited ASCII text file. But what if you want to search a text document or a directory for something you do want to find? That's where you'll find pattern matching so helpful. Specifying the data that you're interested in finding is so much more practical in the real world. In fact, it was the key element in Zenith Data Systems' ability to assemble computers to order, which means each computer going down the line was potentially unique. We actually use pattern matching to update the configuration files based upon what the customer ordered. Let's start exploring pattern matching in list context. We'll take a look at a script that needs the second and third words in a character string in order to complete its process. This statement initializes the undeclared variable to the phrase, hello there neighbor. It is from this string that we will extract words. Now note how each match is stored into a scalar variable. This code creates three local variables, first, second, and third, and then extracts the words out of the declared variable and stores them in the first, second, and third variables in our list. The last line of code simply prints out a message including the second and third variable. Now let's test our script. Our message is, there is my neighbor. There is the value of second, and neighbor is the value of third. So now what? Well, as always, you need to play around with what I've presented to you in this podcast. But this is just the first of the podcasts that we'll be looking at covering pattern matching in list context.